In Lansing, the House Criminal Justice Committee has a new package of bills to consider. The sponsors are advocating for a change in bail, which would restructure the system in Michigan. While it has some support, it has also faced criticism. If approved, this legislation would allow some people to be released without having to pay a bond. It would overhaul the current cash bail system. We do believe it is radical. Jeffrey Clayton is the executive director of the American Bail Coalition. He testified in Lansing Tuesday on why he believes this isn't a good idea to restructure the system. The use of bail is what is, uh, makes uh, criminals accountable to come back to court, and it's the tie break of when somebody gets uh, either stays in jail or gets out of jail pending trial. The series of bills was heard by the Michigan House Criminal Justice Committee. Democrat State Representative Stephanie Young is a co-sponsor. She says this reform wouldn't apply to certain crimes. Assaultive crimes are not eligible, and our judges know it. And the packages focus on the sort of charges that don't pose a danger to society. But not all lawmakers see it that way. Republican State Representative Graham Filler is concerned about how this would impact overall crime in cities across Michigan. I want judicial discretion when they see individuals who have been arrested and are going to be arraigned. I want a judge to be able to look at that file and make a decision whether that individual should get a bail or not. And this um, bill package is skewed so entirely in favor of individuals who commit crimes that I can't support that in good conscience. Lawmakers have criticized the way Michigan's bail system is set up right now, saying it disenfranchises people who can't afford to post a bond. Filler telling me that he doesn't see it that way. Every judge I've talked to says an individual commits shoplifting and they're not getting a $10,000 bond. They're not getting a million dollar bond. They're getting a PR bond and they're told we'll see you in two weeks. Under Michigan law, judges are required to consider the seriousness of the crime, but bail is not supposed to be excessive. Judges have discretion to set an appropriate amount. Third Circuit Court Judge Salenthia Miller testified saying she supports a change in how we do bail in the state. I stand behind this bail reform bill package because I believe responsibly reforming the bail system would decrease recidivism and allow our public safety system to focus on the most serious safety threats. The series of bills weren't voted on in the committee yesterday, and it's been more than a year since they were first introduced.